Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? You know who it is. I'm back in the building, and let me finish up going, going here real quick, you know, get with you. Follow me on Instagram. I'm, I'm working on a setup over here, so let me get back to what I'm doing. Give you guys another video. Like I say, you know who I am. You know what I do, and I do pretty damn good. According to you, shout out to all everybody in America, to my viewers, subscribers in America, across the world. I love you all. I thank you. Appreciate it. You know I'm back to give you to give you nothing but facts. And let me tell you something, folks. This is the only thing I deal with. I deal with what's historical facts and what can be proven. I'm not dealing with your I'm not dealing with your beliefs. I'm not dealing with your opinions. I'm not dealing with your fantasies. I'm not dealing with what you want. I'm not dealing with your faith. I'm dealing with historical and actual facts. Like that's all I I, I mean if, if it can't if it can't be factually based, I have I mean, I'll listen to debates, like, don't get me wrong, but as far as, like, what I, like, if I talk about, I can talk, I can debate with anybody. I'll debate, I have no problem. When I get some of these videos on here, some of these videos are based on, well, not some, all of them. Based, I mean, I, have, I admit, I throw my opinion in there, but the videos are based off actual facts. But that's what you gotta deal with. You gotta, when, you, when you do these videos, when you, when you live life, when you're out there, when you're not here, when you're out there, you out there, you got to give people the facts. That's why people will respect you. You don't have to like me. You can even hate me. I don't give a shit. As long as I keep, keep it 100 with you guys, you can say, hey, man, he's an asshole, but he does keep it 1,000 with me. So that's why I tell you guys, if you ain't fucking with facts, you sure as fuck ain't fucking with me. So let's get back to the topic at hand. Today we're going to talk about something that was a shock to me. Talk about... So, uh, House, the House Majority Speaker Cantor, he got upset in his district, uh, I think it's the Richmond area, he got upset by the Tea Party Challenger. This was a GOP primary, so he got upset by the Tea Party Challenger. It's good and was bad in a way. Uh, he is the latest, he, no, he's not, well, he, he, he is the latest Republican, but also he's the highest ranking Republican to take a L. He's the House Majority Leader. That's not, I mean, outside of the House Speaker or like the, the Speaker of the Senate, stuff like that, you know what I mean? He's the highest ranking leader. You know, but the challenge, but the, here's, what, here's, what got, here's what got the challenger over. The challenger, the ch his challenger filed the fight, like, quote unquote, real, he filed the fight for, quote unquote, real conservative free market changes. Now the guy was, is a professor, and I think George Mason is, uh, I mean, somebody might want to correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess the guy, the guy I know he's a professor, but uh, he's a professor and he, he, he's, he's, he wanted, he wanted to, he's been on record for opposing like the, the deal that Congress made last December. And uh, he talked about getting the GOP to pass an immigration overall. You know, he hit on all the key GOP things that you and I talk about, like, we want an immigration thing done. We want, you know, a lot of stuff that's being happened to our country, we don't want it to happen, but yet it's happening over a stroke of a pen. Yes, it's happening. He was talking on a key point. He was talking very un-Tea Party-like. And that's another thing that should scare people. He was talking about the grassroots thing, and what happened was the Tea Party backed this guy I think more. I think if anything, the Tea Party right back because he was running against the establishment GOP. You know what I mean? But he was back. His name was Dave Bratt. You know, he ran an aggressive campaign with the full support, like I said, of the Tea Party. You know, from the outside looking in, it looked like Cantor. I don't, I don't know if he just rested on his laurels, or he said, you know, he wasn't worried about the competition, or he just, you know, I don't know what Cantor is thinking, but. With the backlash of the Tea Party, Cantor had no, 
he had no option. And I, th I think he probably had some bad advice. He had no option but to get up and do something, and he did nothing. I th Cantor had all that money. He just bet on the wrong horse. You know, Cantor sounded like he lost touch with the people. And when you lose touch with the people, that's what the people get rid of you and replace with somebody who they feel they can have a little bit of touch with or have a little bit of conversation and dealings with. So you need to watch this. I mean, the Tea Party hasn't been doing much this year. For this is like the this is, well, this is news because it's, it's like the the best upset ever for them. But as far as a couple, they haven't been winning like they have been winning in the past. So you need to stay on this and like like cause like I said, the midterms are coming up. So you need to watch it because of the midterms, and we all need to watch it because we'll see how things go. If the Tea Party gets in there, it's just going to be closed for a lot of y'all. So I'm out. Peace.